FFA week is finishing at a local school with a visit from the national FFA president. News 8's Madeline O'Neill visited Cashton High School today where the farmers of tomorrow got to hear more about the future of farming. Students in Cashton say agriculture is the backbone of their community and they were thrilled to meet the head of the FFA. Now recently a report came out that farmland acreage in the state dropped last year, but the organization's president isn't worried. She says the FFA is a perfect place to gain the tools to address such challenges. FFA is a huge part of our lives. It's kind of the center of our lives. FFA and the week devoted to it is a big deal in Cashton, but this year it's even bigger. It was a huge honor. When yeah. we found out we were ecstatic. When National FFA President Taylor McNeil speaks with students, she hopes that the organization will plant a seed in their minds that extends beyond just this week. It really shows them uh, hard work in their projects that they have in FFA and then also those leadership skills, those public speaking skills, um, and then leading them into a career. And helps them be better equipped to deal with problems in an ever-changing field. I think in agriculture across the field we have some different challenges on the national level and then even here in Wisconsin. A report from the Department of Agriculture out last week said farm acreage went down in Wisconsin from 2014 to 2015. But McNeil says that that's just the type of challenge FFA trains students to take on. But that then provides an opportunity for us to keep looking at those different technologies so that our food production can increase while we might have less land. And from one president to another, both make it clear that FFA's lessons extend beyond the farm. FFA to me was a place that I could find a family there in high school. FFA is more than just being a farmer. It's learning leadership. It's being um, a leader in the classroom, anywhere. Whether or not members choose to go into agriculture. We hope they go into a career in agriculture, but even if not, they have that knowledge of agriculture. They have those leadership skills to be successful. As mentioned, the Department of Agriculture said in a report last week that in 2015, the amount of farms in Wisconsin dropped to one, or dropped by 100, and the acres dropped 100,000. What types of farms does that um, impact? Well, the state's largest farms actually grew. It was the mid-sized farms that saw the greatest loss. And this trend isn't unique to Wisconsin. It's being seen nationwide. All right. Thank you so much for your time tonight.